exhibition actually originated out of Mellon Foundation funds given to a cluster of liberal arts colleges. Because of the different places that we visited while we were in India in 2009, 10, and then again I visited in 2011, wanted to make sure that we covered all of the, the sites of mass production of popular religious imagery. We naturally gravitated towards these festival images that are produced annually. Iconography of Ganesh, especially with popular religious imagery, is so interesting because the god is such a malleable figure in Indian culture. So when figuring out which images we wanted to select, we really very carefully chose iconographies that allowed us an opportunity to, to sort of teach the range of key deities uh, in Hinduism who are represented as Ganesh or alongside Ganesh. I knew pretty early on that the exhibition should really fully exploit the visual intensity and density of India and especially of the popular religious imagery that we were working with. Paint colors became very easy to choose. The design or the layout of the, the exhibition space also, I think, came together fairly easily because of the kind of work. So we have, you know, print, media, we have digital, there's the comic book and graphic arts and the festival imagery. So all of that material is sort of broken down into a, almost like color-coded rooms or spaces. These festival images that are created every year are really made out of ephemeral material quite, quite purposefully. So originally, these Ganesh images um, would have been made out of unfired clay so that they would, when placed in a body of water, just dissolve kind of back into the natural kind of cycle of life in a sense. They, now they're made out of plaster of Paris. These images aren't necessarily meant to be shipped abroad. <laughs> it took quite a lot of effort to get them packed and shipped. So when all the images arrived, all but one of them were broken and had to be repaired. The show is up through uh, November 24th. We had a huge reception on September 18th, which is an important day in the 10-day long Ganesh Chaturthi Festival. And in the lobby had live feed of the festival taking place in India. And it's really a 24-7 multi-day of ending to um, the 10-day festival. Uh, so that was, a, that was a lot of fun.